Welcome to Data Doctor's video, Suggestion 853, JetCom Junk. This suggestion is triggered by headings and corresponding data that should be deleted, but delete only those headings and data. JetCom Junk is generated from JetCom downloads that included sections that shouldn't be on Wikitree. To make the profile easier to read and understand, these sections need to be deleted. Because one and a half million profiles have at least one JEDCOM junk heading, the suggestion isn't created unless there are three or more of these headings on one profile. Even at this limit, there are over a hundred thousand affected profiles. This limit will be reduced over time. You can find and correct any instance of JEDCOM junk on your managed profiles from the Wikitree Plus site. To get there, hover over the Help link and click on the Help Index. Next, click on the W to jump to the Wikitree Plus link. That takes you to this page, where you click on the logo. You are now on the Wikitree Plus site. Close the Suggestions heading and click on Search. In the text box, type in JEDCOM Junk. You can use any search criteria in combination with JEDCOM Junk. For this example, next to it, type in your Wikitree ID. Click Get Profiles. You will get a report similar to this. Here is a list of JETCOM junk headings and sections for Suggestion 853. Our first profile shows two data changed headings. These headings and text give no information about the profile person, but are simply a part of the JETCOM file identifier. Delete them. Next, we see User ID. This also comes from JEDCOM and has nothing to do with Wikitree. Delete this as well. The next profile has Latter-day Saints or LDS Baptism and Endowment dates that can be readily found on Family Search, which is managed by LDS. For that reason, they are not necessary on Wikitree. Delete both of them. Following that, we see a record file number heading and text. That file number is part of the JEDCOM download and has no meaning here. Delete that section. Submitter is another JEDCOM identifier and needs to be deleted. The third profile shows the heading object with text. The object information links to a personal computer and cannot be used by anyone other than that person. Delete it. You should also delete the submitter and data changed sections. The fourth profile shows the last heading mentioned in this suggestion, color. It has no meaning for the profile or its appearance. Delete that as well as the user ID and data change sections as we did before. Here is the suggestions report for Perry Harding. It shows only one suggestion, 853. The info column lists three imported headings, data changed, user ID, and data changed again. Here is the public view of Perry's profile. You can see in the contents index all the headings listed, including the three on the suggestions report. They are seen in the biography here, here, and here. Note that there are only two sources listed, one from a family history and the other from personal information, including address and phone number. Click on Edit. Scroll down to the biography section and delete the first data changed section. Next, delete the user ID section 
and the second data changed section. In the marriage section, delete the user ID as it is not applicable to Wikitree or to a source. Delete the extra heading under each section as they are redundant. The personal information of address and phone number listed with one source needs to be deleted. The words information from can be added. As a last step, remove the second colon beside birth date, death date and place, and burial. Leaving them will create an extra unnecessary indentation. Click on Preview to check your work. Make sure that the inline citations are properly showing in the biography and sources sections. Go to the middle of the profile page and explain your changes. This is strongly recommended for all Wikitree users and is required for data doctors. For me, I identify myself as a data doctor, copy the suggested number and name, and explain what I changed. Save your work. Return to the suggestions report and on the far right click on status. On the suggestion status page, make sure your Wikitree ID is showing. Of the five status options, choose one. In this case, correct it. Normally, you would choose a comment from the comment hints, but this suggestion is so new there are none. Nevertheless, leave a comment of your own. Click the Update Status button. The last screen shows the status history has recorded your changes. And you're done. You are invited to like this video and even leave a comment if you wish. Also, keep up to date with new videos by subscribing to our Wikitree YouTube channel. On behalf of the Data Doctors Project, thank you for watching.